guys welcome back to my channel my name is Amaka and this is Ami Lifestyle you guys know how we do it here okay so if you're new here thank you for clicking on this video to watch and if you're not new thank you for continually supporting my channel and watching my videos guys I'm so happy because you know I think I've mentioned this in another video it's been how many months now like three months or four months since I started YouTube and I have torn and 57 or 37 <laughs> subscribers just a bit over 200 subscribers i'm really really happy about that and i just want to say thank you all for your support i am happy honestly i never thought that i would get up to this in such a short period of time all right guys so today is going to be a juicy topic i have some tea for you guys as usual so um i just wanted to talk a little bit about why celebrity marriages fail because i have like seen a lot of celebrity marriage especially in nigeria and you know when they first get engaged and they are getting married all the pre-wedding pictures all the wedding pictures a lot of people go like yeah god when and really <laughs> after a few months we begin to hear some stories like there are cracks in the wall and you know the marriage is falling apart and the marriage actually goes ahead to fall apart this is not a fault of anyone like it's not it's not our fault that the marriage has gone apart but before i even continue let me just put out a disclaimer that I do not intend to send hate to anyone's way and if you know any of the people I'm going to be talking about in the video, please do not send hate their way. This is my opinion and everyone is entitled to it. Here's our opinion. This is my opinion. You may agree with me. You may disagree with me. That's fine. I'm just, I just wanted to like put out my own opinion and based on my own experience and based on the things that I've seen. Okay. First thing I want to talk about is... The fact that someone is a celebrity and is out in the public eye doesn't mean the person is rich. So there is this misconception about being famous equals to being rich. And a lot of celebrities are not like that. I can say on the average how much they pay for each movie role. And some movies take two months to shoot and they just have that money for, you know, that period of time. So movie roles, endorsements and all of that. And a lot of them don't get all these endorsements, especially the male celebrities. So sometimes, you know, the perception that their partner has of them is different from their reality. Okay. You know, some people that I know have dated celebrities and their feedback is always like, you know, he's always putting up for the gram. Um, he doesn't have as much money as he claims to have. He's um, just not what I thought that he would be because a lot of times here yeah, we as human beings form a perception about these celebrities based on the roles that they play based on how they portray themselves on social media also especially based on the roles that they play so a lot of times you know some some celebrities are always cast in this good guy role or romantic guy role or rich guy role every single time and in real life they're not as rich you know so there's always there's already like a perception that people on the outside have about them that's not true and so when you get into a relationship with these people you begin to see some cracks and yeah maybe maybe the people who get into relationships with them are very materialistic because i don't think marriage or relationship should be all about money and what the person is bringing to the table in terms of you know finances but because they're celebrities yeah maybe the ladies would not want to break up or the guys would not want to break up because they know that a wedding between themselves and a celebrity will give them more attention will make them a bit more famous and they'll just use the chase clout so after some time in the marriage you know they're done with chasing clout it's over and so yeah that's the end of the marriage the person now starts getting referred to as so 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 and so ex-husband <laughs> and everything the person does becomes news basically that's it another thing is that a lot of celebrities are dishonest i mean a lot of them lie to themselves they are also dishonest with their partners the person they are with they're kind of a catch in the sense that people want to date you you know people want to be in a relationship with you and that's going to give you a lot of unnecessary attention you get me you feel me so when you go out people are cutting eyes for you when you are anywhere you know there's somebody who is interested in you there's someone who wants to talk to you um people who are close to you want to date you people who are not close to you want to date you so you have like they have a lot of attention they get a lot of attention and they end up dating multiple people and 
they are not faithful with the person that they are with the person that they claim to truly love they're not really like honest with the person so when they get engaged it's like the whole lagos is in tears because they're dating like a lot of people you know an example is i remember when um stephanie koka aderinoku got married when she sorry not got married when she got engaged so when she got engaged i remember that that day i was in my office and i had just seen the news on the gram a colleague of mine started making a phone call and she was like have you seen you know have you seen the news and i really didn't like take i didn't really think much about it because i felt like you know you know she, probably just gisting with a friend like have you seen this you know that kind of thing and my mind didn't even go to that story like the engagement she was having a conversation with her friend about the engagement supposedly but the reason i knew that it was stephanie's engagement that they were talking about was when she was like oh um is it because she's a celebrity that's why he felt like it was okay to engage her or he wants to marry her because she's a celebrity and they're probably not good enough for him because she's not popular and all that so i was like oh now i know <laughs> now i know i was like okay uh, uh, this is this is smell it this is too coincidental <laughs> so that was when i knew that apparently this lady's friend had been dating this lady's husband and now she has found out that he's engaged to someone else because she's a celebrity because that's what they feel like oh it's because she's a celebrity you know that's why um and you know they went on to say stuff like you know maybe he wants to use it to boost his own image and all that and this is not peculiar to this situation alone there are other celebrities that i know that were not dating one person they weren't dating one person they just went ahead and engaged the person that they felt like would be more beneficial to them their image their finances and all that and seriously that's really messed up that's really not cool at all because you are putting a lot of people into emotional trauma <laughs> it, you know it's it's bad it's terrible at the end of the day they would think about their image they would think about their um family you know family background you know what this person can do for them what this person can bring to them before they decide to get married and i think that that's like the most messed up thing i've ever heard in my life so that day was a bad day for some people the day that some other people got engaged it was a really bad day for some other people you know you guys have heard of like emmanuel ikubeze and anita bro's marriage like the fact that it's all over right now they said they are separated I am not trying to like be the having of bad tidings. You know what? How do you get, how do you stay in a relationship for years? They've been in a relationship for years and their marriage could not even last for one year. Everything came unraveling. Another thing I want to talk about is ego. The ego of these celebrities is bigger than themselves. You, as a regular person, you do not understand the level of ego these celebrities have. They feel larger than life. And rightfully so. Whenever they go out, somebody is calling their name, someone recognizes them, someone knows them. They check their social media accounts. They have 500K followers, uh, 1 million followers, 2 million followers. Every time they post, someone is singing their praises. It's crazy, you know. <laughs> it's really crazy so they have a lot of ego and for both male and female celebrities when they get into marriage they want their partner to actually massage that ego um they don't want to do certain things that they're meant to do like because they're married you know some of them don't want to have kids their partner wants to have kids but they don't want to have kids because they feel like you know 
that's going to disfigure me and that I'm, I'm not going to be getting some roles because of that you know or i won't be able to you know put out my new music because of that i'm able to dance properly because i'm pregnant and all that so these days right cardi b ciara they've showed us beyonce how can i leave out beyonce cardi b ciara beyonce they've showed us that they can still kill it even when they're pregnant and so some of them are becoming more open to being pregnant right now except for those who got pregnant had babies and are now using their babies for clout and using their babies to make money you know what that's like <laughs> i didn't want to start going into that we're talking about ego right so no somebody doesn't want to cook somebody doesn't want to clean i'm not saying that it's imperative that when you're married you have to do all those things cooking i personally do not clean my house myself i have someone who comes in to clean my house for me you know there's some things that you just do in order to make your marriage thrive and i'm not talking about being subservient or doing crazy things you know things that naturally would come to you when you get married that you want to do they miss that because of their ego you know they miss that they miss having spending quality time with their partner because of their ego they don't feel it's necessary they miss um, family events and get-togethers because of their ego they don't feel like they want to be in the circle of their partner's family or something or their partner's friends because they feel like they're not up to them sometimes <laughs> you know just, they find it difficult to be apologetic when they're wrong because of their ego so it just doesn't work out another thing i wanted to like highlight is the fact that they don't have time and because they don't create time for their families anyway so they don't have time they're always out out on sets on tours so they lose connection with their partners and what do you think marriage M marriage is somewhere in the back burner now there's this important thing i wanted to trash out right mind you Please don't send it to anybody so there's this particular celebrity that got married snatched her friend's husband i'm talking about niela is it niela or Nuela? i don't know it's Nuela. so Nuela apparently snatched her friend's boyfriend married him which is chichi the chico married him and they've been married for some time and now they broke up and the next thing she got a new car tell me girl she surprised herself with a new car immediately she broke up from her husband <laughs> oh god this is for sister i actually watched that video of her getting the new car and i don't know how i will surprise myself with stuff i mean i bought this i paid for it the seller told me the day it was going to come the dispatch rider called me before he got to my house because of course they need to confirm my address and they got to my house i went downstairs oh sorry my gate man picked it up for me and brought it to my house and i picked it opened it and looked at it and i started wearing it there is no way in the world that i would order this necklace and it gets to me and i'm looking surprised i'm like i don't get <laughs> do you, you get what i mean so how do you buy a car for yourself and you look surprised and then her friends were busy you know hyping her yeah she got a car she's surprised and all that i'm like help me here i don't think i'm the only one who is feeling the same way hello help me <laughs> so you leave your marriage and next thing you get a car now one thing about being a celebrity is that you get a lot of doors opened to you not just because you're a celebrity but because you're a celebrity and you're single now when you get married there are a lot of things that people would not give to you because they feel like they're not going to get anything in return especially when it is they want you know the other stuff you know in return they want to be paid the other way now um sometimes it doesn't work out at the end of the day like the person might have the intention of wanting you to pay the other way for a favor or a door that was opened to you as a celebrity but at the end of the day since the person didn't make that demand public you know the person didn't speak that demand out 
you end up not giving that favor you know so once you're married it becomes a bit more difficult for them to propose that to you and at the end of the day they just leave it and give it to someone who is single who is still a celebrity who is single and who is attractive married celebrities tend to lose i'm putting lose in parentheses because i don't think that that's a loss i think that's is that's stupid so married celebrities tend to lose a lot when they're married because people who have some funny intentions of giving them stuff do not know if it is okay to propose what they want you guys know what i'm talking about right it's not they don't know if it's okay to propose what they want or not propose it but when they are single it's easier to propose it because they are single get me <laughs> so they start to feel it because once they get married people actually naturally move back from offering them stuff in exchange for that they begin to feel like they, they are not making as much money as they used to before they got married or they are losing out on a lot of opportunities because they are married and naturally they begin to get frustrated because of that and then they leave their marriage especially for those of them who didn't marry for good reason you know they married not because they loved their partner and they wanted to start a family or anything like that they just got married because they wanted to chase clout and they wanted to be on bella there is this extra popularity that comes when you get married people who don't know you before start to know you yeah because you're married now and your your gist is everywhere that you're, you're getting married and you're being married okay so that's that that's it over and out if you like not being married would open them up to more favors more gifts from their fans about that i just wanted to say something i have <laughs> you know what i'm putting my face out here a lot of gist i'm going to miss out now that my face is out here talking about these things but 90% of the time when celebrities say that their fans buy them something and gifted them something It's not their fans. I'm sorry to bust your bubble It's not I'm not talking about the BB Ninja guys. The BB Ninja guys, right? A lot of their fans are really crazy and they pull money together to buy stuff for their faith Legit they do it, you know for some, yes, they do it. Some some have crazy fan base. We're talking about Tacha's fan base, Erica's fan base, um, who else? Messi's fan base. I'm talking about fan bases that are really crazy enough to go that far to buy their faves a car. But for some others, they do not have that level of fan base to pull together that kind of resources that will be enough to get them a car. So when they they come lying that their fans you know what you all need to just stop lying about it your fans got you nothing it's a lie another thing is that when you become a celebrity and you move from single to married your perception changes it's sad but it's true in nigeria your perception changes your audience changes and that would also inform the kind of brands that will come to you for some things now for some celebrities like it doesn't matter you know whatever you want them to do they're gonna still do it whether they are married or not so um like lingerie and sensual products they're still going to do it even when they are married okay but for some people marriage turns them out a bit and they're not able to take on you know such jobs and truth is that a lot of those jobs are more easier to get and they are more common to get for them than the other jobs you know so they begin to now lose some money like that and it's a bit difficult for them to now go up to par with people who have been married for years and brands know them for some stuff you know brands already have them you know penned down you know as married and you know they have already categorized them in some niches that they would like to push them for so this also applies to pr agencies so every pr agency has i'm going into pr right now but let, let's just go there every pr agency has like a list of people like celebrities you know the kind of things that they can do and when they have events or they have campaigns they just pull from that list and use the people there so they will definitely use people who have been doing those things for the longest and when you now get married and start having kids you know your audience would naturally change the kind of things that you would promote 
that they would even sell to you would naturally change and that would definitely have an impact on their income for some time because as you continue to be in that niche you tend to grow in that niche and then you start to make money from that niche and so a lot of them are not patient enough you know to wait that long because they already have a ready market lastly let me just add this okay there is a certain type of lifestyle that celebrities are used to they go out when they like especially when they're not filming because they're not nine to fivers and they have this culture of always going out because going out every time going for events you know going for birthdays and parties and weddings and all of that it kind of puts them in the public eye more often when you're married i think i've said this in one of my videos about marriage compromise very important you know these celebrities don't want to compromise some things you know for their marriage and it's not a bad thing really i don't see this as a bad thing because first of all when you met this person especially for non-celebrities right when a non-celebrity marries a celebrity i'm talking about that now so when you met this person this person was like this let me just explain the life of a celebrity to you i should have done this in the beginning <laughs> But let me explain life of a celebrity to you. So what they do is that if they're not on, st on set, that will take them away from even their home, primary homes of residence. You know, they go to places, you know, for weeks and for months shooting. So their family doesn't get to see them. Or they are shooting out late, even if it's within, you know, where they live. But they're shooting out late and they can't get home at night. Aside from that, that situation, there is also the situation of celebrities always having to be in the spotlight. They have to go out, they have to go to nice locations, nice restaurants to eat. They're invited to a lot of events, so they have to attend the ones they want to attend, um, weddings and all that. They need all those as props for their social media accounts. You know, they need all those events for their Insta lives, for their Instagram stories, for their TikToks they need to always be out of the house you know it's rare to find a celebrity who says that he's he or she's an introvert and doesn't go anywhere the person's instagram and the person's feed won't be so much fun and that's the truth so they have this lifestyle where they can go out and f they can go out at 5 p.m and won't be back until the next day and then another day they are home all day you know or they can go out all day all week all month they're not around you know so this can bring like a feeling of emptiness to their spouse they have this funny type of lifestyle that's not regular and so their spouses sometimes would expect them to change because of that you know because they got married and there are also some other lifestyles that they would expect that their spouses would change for them because they are married and that would never happen because i would never expect a grown person male or female to drastically change just because they went to the altar it's never gonna happen okay if you really enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like videos like this because i really enjoy shooting this actually so if you like videos like this and you want me to do more of these types of videos please tell me in the comment section i'll see you in my next one guys bye but i know